Taylor Swift's haters are definitely hating. Billboard News exclusive, first listen to the game's new track and you will not believe who's on it. And we've got country star Carly Pierce in the house. I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News. It's Tuesday, August 9th, and here are the top stories of the day. Taylor Swift told a judge that Shake It Off was written entirely by her in a sworn declaration. Taylor Swift weighed in on Monday in a lawsuit that claims she stole the lyrics to Shake It Off from a song about players and haters, filing a sworn declaration where she said the words were written entirely by me and that she had never heard the song she's accused of copying. The song in question is 3LW's 2001 song, Players Gon' Play. The case against Swift was filed in 2017 by the writers of Players Gon' Play, Sean Hall and Nathan Butler. In their 2001 song, the line was players they gonna play and haters they gonna hate. In 2014, Shake It Off, Taylor sings I almost started dancing there. In her Monday statement, Taylor suggested there was no need to steal those lyrics because she has heard them countless times on the playground as a child. She wrote in part, these phrases were akin to other commonly used sayings like don't hate the player, hate the game, take a chill pill, and say it, don't spray it. Well, there's a lot to unpack here, but what do you think? Did Taylor steal the lyrics or she's completely responsible for her own writing? You let us know in the comments. The game's got new music on the way and Billboard has your exclusive first listen to Universal Love. Hug somebody, love somebody. Sometimes all we need, sometimes all we need is love. The track drops Friday with his new LP, Drillmatic. It features Chloe Bailey, Chris Brown, and a sample of the legendary Janet Jackson. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. I could turn back and time. Janet heard the record, she loved it. But you don't know that you got to this Universal love. We touched on like 14, 15 different controversies. I just feel like, I feel like right now with like everything going on, like the world just need love, like, you know. Love women, of course, stop telling them what to do with their body, it's not yours. Billboard's deputy director of R&B hip hop, Carl Lamar, caught up with the game in the studio to find out how the song came together. Why did you feel like this was the perfect record to close the album? Like? Uh, cause the the concept of my album is like heart versus mind. You know what I'm saying? And so at the end of my day, no matter how I feel after I wake up, like I'm always like. I get I always bring myself back to a peaceful moment. What an insane lineup. I can't believe the game was able to get all of them on a track. It's definitely on repeat for me. Also on Friday, the game and hit boy come to our studio to talk all things hip hop and their new album. You don't want to miss that. Question for you, Johnny or June? Oh no! <laughs> you can't do that. I, I did it, I did it. Hey y'all, I have a new friend. Country star Carly Pierce stopped by Billboard. We talk about touring with Kenny Chesney, Dan and Shay, and Old Dominion. Somehow she's the runchiest one of the bunch. Who her dream collab is, the worst job she's ever had, and yes, she knows Dolly Parton. Take a look. Hey, it's Billboard News. I'm Tetris, and I'm hanging out with Carly Pierce. Thanks for stopping by. Where are we going next musically? You know, 29 was such a pivotal record and such a pivotal moment for me in my career, but also just as a person. So I'm taking some time just to really make sure that this next transition of where I'm at is reflective of actually what's going on in my life. So I'm getting some stuff I'm really excited about. Let's talk about Dolly Parton. Hi, She's just, to me, the epitome of class and a true businesswoman, a true artist. She's truly a fairy godmother. And now that you've worked with such incredible people, you're on a stadium tour. You got Dan and Shay, Old Dominion, and Kenny, tell me, have you guys been out after the shows? How is it to tour with those guys? Always a good time. You never know what any of those boys, especially Shay, is gonna do. He's a little crazy. Is that the wild card? That's the wild card. And I have to say that probably of all of us, I'm the raunchiest and the grossest. I need to know what's happening on your tour bus. You know, I think I just love a good dirty joke. All those boys on the bus, my band and my crew, they're my brothers. And whether they like it or not, I have to make them uncomfortable. So <laughs> I'm just a little nasty, I guess. Just a little bit. Just a <laughs> yeah, little nasty. Just a little nasty. Yeah, the worst job I've ever had was. 
Oh, I was an Airbnb cleaner. What? People nasty. Ooh. They leave you nasty hair. And, I've seen your Shania Twain covers <laughs> out there, so can we maybe see a collaboration? I would love to see you with the queen. I would die. I would die. I would love it. Shania, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh, 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 totally crazy. The full Carly Pierce interview drops tomorrow. To watch, go to billboard.com. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. We'll have more music news for you tomorrow, so don't forget to subscribe. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.